In early infant development, we look at milestones. Milestones could be as small as pointing to something, or smiling, or saying your first word. Your first word, this unit, was topology, and I think you have reached your milestone. It's important as an instructor to back off of the um, student and let them soak in their new found um, talent. In other words, if I had entire character out here and I had you retopologize the entire character as far as um, a human, that would be that would be hard, and you would never reach your milestone. So now that your milestone has been reached, I want this as an actual assignment. Okay, let's look at how far it's matured. We have a character broken up in three mashed up parts. Okay. Those mashed up parts are great at an, a very early education. And then later on, we develop it into one single solid mesh. Now, that's not always the case. What about the wings? Well, the wings, they would probably be texturized. They would flap at different ratios. Or, you know, I mean, they, they'd be able to fold in, fold out, all that good stuff. So the wings, uh, they stay the way they are. Okay. Minus, they should have been smoothed a little bit more and maybe sculpted a little bit more. But wings, they are nonetheless. The premise of this actual unit is topology. And the fact is, we did a few edge loops in this area to make it tighter. In this area, we made an edge loop. In this area of the mouth, we made an edge loop. Eye, same thing, edge loop. Why did we have two separate parts here? Well, those two separate parts are based upon material. So this is a higher uh, specular material for the eye. Uh, the eye might rotate. The eye might do some stuff. Here, the body would be a separate material. Another thing we did is we, we thought, well, you know, if I took and extruded this out one more time, sure, that would have worked also, but it would have been at a higher polygon ratio. So when you make parts like this, you just got to be smart about it. You know, this might have been the mouth area. Maybe if we made teeth, would we have wanted to take the teeth and made them into the same mesh? No. In fact, um, that would make too high a res at the base mesh. So we try to keep the amount of resolution down on the base mesh as much as possible, and we'll do simple tricks like make separate parts later on. We'll learn that throughout the entire series. But for right now, your milestone's been reached. What I want you to hand in is this character. Now, if you want to impress me and make me, me make some antennae, that would be cool. Um, or something. It doesn't really matter. I, I like this character the way it is. It's simple. It'd be funny, texturized. My only stipulation, if you were to put antennae on here, you would have to keep the base mesh the same resolution. Okay? And you would also have to find some way to attach the antennae. There's the challenge. All right. But other than that, you can keep the way it is and turn it in. So once you've completed the edge loop monster B, we can save it out as a blend file and you can turn that into the uh, area which I deemed the area to turn in files. All right. Enjoy the lesson. And when you are done, move on to the next unit.